Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use PhotoCatch to create a 3D model of a real life object using photos. And the nice thing about PhotoCatch is that it runs natively on the Mac. The only caveat is that you need a new Apple Silicon um, chip. So it needs to be one of the M1 or the M2 Macs um, in order um, for this to work. Um, I believe this software is based on Apple's Object Capture API. So you can find more information here. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but this has been built to work with the, the new chips. So uh, that's the reason that it's only compatible with the new Macs. Um, on their website, they also have information about how you can maximize the quality of your scan. Basically, you need to have a well-lit environment and you need to take lots of photos from all angles. So you can see here they're rotating around the object um, at a range of different heights in order to fully capture the geometry of this uh, robot here. So I'll show you the photos I took of the um, housing that I am scanning. Um, I took these photos in my attic. It's a well-lit space um, and I've just put it on a piece of wood here. And you can see I'm simply just been rotating the part by hand and taking a photo. And I do this at a number of different levels in order to change the perspective slightly and um, give the camera a different um, view of the part. And once I've done this for uh, the top side of the part, I simply flipped it over and repeated the process with the bottom side in order to capture that detail as well. And in total, I think there's about 100 photos here with plenty of overlap between photos. And this produced a really nice scan. One issue uh, I was a bit concerned about was uh, the fact that it's a shiny metal part. Typically, this doesn't work well with photogrammetry. Um, but the, the software coped with this particular case really well. I have had some cases where it hasn't worked well at all, but um, in this case it worked. So once you've got the photos, all you do is you open Photo Catch and you select the photos, select the folder. Oh, that's not the folder. Um, front housing, no. Here we go. You select the file format. You can also change it after you have um, built the model as well. You, your, your choice here doesn't really matter. And you can choose the quality. Uh, so uh, depending on how many tries you want in the part, you, you select one of these options. Raw is the, um, the highest quality and preview is the lowest, I believe. Um, selecting full makes uh, I think gives it about 100,000 tries. So at this point, all you do is click create model and it will run through the process. Um, on my computer, it took between five and 10 minutes. Um, I'll skip back to when the process is finished now. So PhotoCatch has just finished creating this model and you can see it's turned out really well. Uh, even though we had some shiny uh, bits on this, uh, everything is really well defined. Um, so to export the model to Blender, all we need to do is save it. So you click the save button and select the, the file format that you'd like. Um, I've already done that, so I won't go through that process now. You then go to Blender and to import the model, you simply go to File, Import, and uh, we'll go with the OBJ file format. We then navigate to where the model is saved and import it. This will import the model, but it will also import the material too. 
So if we uh, change the shading, you can see uh, we have our material texture in there as well. And uh, depending on what you want to use the model for, this might be enough. You know, it looks great, looks very realistic. Um, personally, I would like a slightly lighter model. So you can see here the mesh is heavily triangulated um, and very dense. Uh, we can do some retopology to clean this up a bit. Um, so in my next video, I'm going to show you how I uh, went about um, retopologizing this part. Um, but that's it for now, so thanks very much for watching.